Hello, and welcome back to the Caffeinated Classroom. If this is your first time here. My name is Marie. I'm a high school English teacher in San Diego, California, and I made it to work today, all the way to work today without any of my work stuff. I had to turn around, go home, open the door, and there, sitting right in the threshold, the welcoming part of my home, was my work bag, my lunch, my coffee, this vlogging camera, and the only reason I realized I didn't have it is because I was looking for the camera to start this day in the life vlog. So friends, you're coming along for the ride with me today on what proves to be, it's going to be an interesting Monday. I can't even talk right now, so. is my prep period right now. I am currently teaching, if you haven't been around here for a while or even if I just haven't talked about it in a minute, I am currently teaching 10th grade English only. This is Monday. That marks, I'm thinking, seven weeks left of school. Seven weeks left of school in the 2020-2021 school year. And um, I normally will do like a fun countdown for my students like the last three weeks or so, you know, like, four to three weeks left. Oh, we're starting today because we have been through the meat grinder that was this year and still is this year and I am doing everything in my power to make things fun, engaging, and also like effective and just like worthwhile for my students. You know, like everything I do in my classroom is meant to help build skills, right? Like everything builds on each other. When kids ask, can we get a free homework pass? My response is always, I want you to really think about all of the assignments you've ever done for my class. Are there any of them that didn't help you with the next thing, that didn't build to the next quiz or the next paper or whatever? Like, is there anything that you really should throw out? And they are like, oh yeah, because I don't do busy work. We might do a little bit of fun busy work just for the fact of it being fun in this room. <laughs> like, I am upping the fun factor. Uh, today, actually, we are finishing up this week a study of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Students are going to start today on an adaptation project where they are going to either get into groups or tell me that they want me to make their groups. I really don't care, so they're gonna let me know what they want. Uh, and small groups, and they're going to be taking a scene that I give them, a very small snippet of a scene from A Midsummer Night's Dream, and adapting it to a different social and historical context. So I will tell you a little bit about that more later as we like to get going into it, but it is a really fun project and I haven't done it in a couple of years with my students, like full blown. I've done little pieces of the project, um, but I'm excited to like spend this whole week doing this project and um, I think they're going to have a really good time with it. The other thing I am working on right now is a uh, I'm starting a classroom redo. Like I'm starting a classroom overhaul. So I have a really awesome standing desk that I'm gonna be putting together because this classroom redo, redecoration, like whatever you wanna call it, I just need a refresh. I need a change of the space. Um, and, and I think it'll just be nice for the kids too. It's uh, going to take me a while. Like it's going to take me, I can't just wait till the summer because I have two little kids and they have camps and we've got stuff going on. Um, and so here we are the first Monday of May and I'm going to start my classroom redo for next week. And I'm going to be putting together this table that I got from the very nice folks over at Flexi Spot. You guys, these are the best. I have one at home. You may have missed that, like, that I was using for uh, distance learning. And it's amazing. And I was like, oh, I could just bring it to school. And then I was like, no, I like it too much. I need it at home. And so now I have another one. I contacted FlexiSpot and they said, yes, I have a coupon code for you guys. So make sure you check out the description box down below. Uh, and I have a little bit of time left in my prep, so I might start taking this sucker out of the box. It was really easy to put together the first one, so I don't think this should take me too long. And I, uh, I brought a drill to work, so that's normal for a high school English teacher. <laughs> I'm out of breath because it's heavy. 
and I, as you saw, I had a little bit of difficulty um, flipping the table over, but that literally took me like under 10 minutes. I didn't even get through a mini-sode of a podcast that I was listening to. Um, speaking of podcasts, if you need a good educational podcast to listen to while you're like me and you just kind of, like I'm honestly, yes, this is my prep period. I have work I need to do, but I need to think it through first and I just needed some like me time because I need a weekend from my weekend most days that I come back to work after a weekend. It's a lot. Um, as you know, I forgot all of my things, but my kids got to school, you know, yeah. And it's teacher appreciation week. So like everything's revved up. Um, anyways, I'm out of breath. So I'm rambling. This table is so cool. I'm going to show it to you. It's obviously not in the spot it's going to be in that's over there which is going to need to be later on today because I have to like reconfigure everything and get a table out of the way but like you guys look at how cool this table is simple we're going to be going okay let me just take you on a little like look about in the room I've got a lot of coffee kind of cream tones which is awesome amazing after the year I've just had I need a change I, I just need a change I need to freshen up I spend so many hours here and I love it here so we're going with a little bit more white base with like black and kind of coffee color accent like I'm not painting the walls because I don't hate myself but yeah so here we are I haven't taken the tape off yet because this is a really nice glass like thick glass top but this is a little drawer which I'm super excited about hello flexi spot um very simple profile like I'm always afraid I'm gonna hit my shins because I'm that kid that kicks the middle table you know the middle bar of the table or whatever um the motor underneath is pretty little, like it's super easy. It's just heavy because it's solid. Uh, and then I'm so excited to find out what these mean. I think that they're pre-programmed and that's the up and down manual. And then I did not notice this until like two seconds ago. We've got a lightning cable, like we've got USB. I've got power. I am, I'm amazing. <laughs> So excited but I can show you over here um, the room's a little bit of a mess because I've just Bilbo Baggins our class mascot um, so this table is going to stay that table is gonna go do you like my rigged kind of standing desk situation I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm teaching there um, it's a weird like half squat half standing very awkward but this is going to be my flexi spot standing desks new home and i'm so excited but it's almost time to get started for my first class again it is now after school and it has been like <laughs> two-thirds of the day since I last came on here and checked in um it's just the days are busy and we're getting ready for next year yeah like it's time to start building a master schedule and planning programs and getting things ready for like incoming students and even though we still have seven weeks left in the quarter this is like when it all begins right so the days are just really, really busy. I, as you can see back behind me, <laughs> my table is still there. I have not made it any further, but I spent some really good time today in my classes, just like connecting with kids and talking to them about how they want to do the project that you saw me introducing, um, which is a really fun adaptation project. Uh, at the beginning of this Shakespeare unit we're doing, I said, we're going to do Shakespeare. And while you've grown now, there are parts of this unit that are going to be some of your favorite parts of this English class. And what do you know? They got super into it and they're super excited. Um, and it's just a cool way to teach research and like source credibility and kind of do like an intro into that before we keep going a little bit deeper into bias and source credibility and that sort of thing after we're done with Shakespeare. So secondary teachers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, even primary teachers I mean, or elementary, I'm sure you guys, <laughs> I'm sure there's quite a bit of like credibility of sources and information that goes on there as well. So I'm just trying to hit that from every angle I can, even when it's like seemingly harmless information, making sure that all of their information comes from a credible source. So 
something I'm working on. I actually now need to leave and go get my children because being a working parent means that you're literally always on. <laughs> like you just never stop. I have two modes, asleep and awake. And that's like, awake is just always going. So I'm gonna go get my kiddo uh, in the, or my kids and one has sports this afternoon and I might be coming back here with the little one to do a little uh, dealing with that corner of the classroom. There's a reason I'm filming over here right now. Oop, focus. There's a reason. There we are. There's a reason I'm filming over here right now and it's because over there looks like a bomb went off and the bomb is named me. So I'm gonna deal with that and I'll check in with you guys when I'm back. We're back. Say we're back. We're back. We're back. We are armed with a whole lunch box full of snacks and uh, my super helper is going to, oh, we've got gummies. We're going to put a little something on the big screen and I'm going to start attacking Ow. the corner of my room that is my teacher area. It's, I did a whole overhaul of my teacher desk area like, gosh, last year and I think I vlogged about it. Do you need some help? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and now, I need to do it again. Now I have an extended screen, like there's a lot more tech over there because of this past year, but like, the tech yes, stays. I need some help. Yes, you need some help. Okay, I'm gonna help her and I'm gonna get started clearing things away. And uh, hopefully, this doesn't take too long because we might be on borrowed time. <laughs> Yay! have done it. I started moving some things around as you see and there's that uh, two drawer little unit has like a bunch of personal stuff in it that needs to be gone through. I'm not in a place to do that yet. This guy I think is going to be part of a repainting project, something with some redecoration going on this summer, but I just kind of placed it for now because I wanted to put the Nespresso behind me. Um, yeah, the only, and then look at that humdinger and I'm gonna show you how amazing it is. It goes all the way up and then I programmed it. It goes all the way down so I can have one huge table. I can have two heights. I just need you to see, uh, we've been watching Frozen 2, which is why the lights were all off before. Like this situation here, when I stand here, is actually ergonomically appropriate um, because it goes so stinking high up. This is it like, let's see. If I hit the little button, it'll show you how high. 43 and a half inches is apparently ergonomically appropriate for me in these shoes. <laughs> There's kind of a mess of cables and things that I'll take care of uh, tomorrow and later this week, but I actually kept the crates because the crates helped me to like look up and keep things up and off the table, off, off the desk. And I'm just really, I'm really excited. Hey, Eloise. Oh, thank you. Did you, will you hit the down arrow for mommy? Okay, press and hold it. No, 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 this one, the down arrow. Yep, hold. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And go back up, 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 up. Pretty cool, huh? Can you click the number four? Yeah. Yep. And it's going up. Don't touch, don't touch. Boop. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. So friends, there you have it. I'm gonna leave her over there playing with the, <laughs> probably won't leave her playing with the table for too long because it's an actual like electric table. Uh, I am so excited for tomorrow when I get to just stand up and teach my class without my wrists being all funky or funky and without being in that weird half squat kind of on the stool, not on the stool situation that you saw me doing earlier. Um, yeah, so I just wanna say thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Make sure you get the coupon code down in the description box and get yourself something. They have table, like the actual standing desk tables like this, a few different models. They've got like tabletop standing desk, kind of like, adaptation situations. They've got a lot of different stuff. So take a little look, get the coupon code. What am I looking at? Oh, this. Oh, you got it really high. I'm going to go attend to that one. We're going to go home and make some dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.